Hi everyone, I'm Shelly and you're watching There's No Place Like Home. I'm back with another question and narrative video and today's topic is short season theory. Let scripture interpret scripture. Today I'm going to be sharing with you another really enlightening comment that someone left on one of my most recent videos and it brought to light a verse for me that I believe has tremendous implications when it comes to the length of time that the short season of Revelation 20 verse 3 is theorized to be. So let me first read this comment because honestly, I think this just may be the nail in the coffin, at least for the portion of the short season theory that claims that the short season is actually hundreds of years long. And this is a comment from Smite the Wicked. And it reads, I read that verse as a child. And it's talking about another verse that I had been talking about in Matthew 24. Um, it says, I read that verse as a child that says this generation shall by no means pass away and understood as a child that he was talking to them. When I asked my mother, she explained the same nonsensical teachings that it was the baby boom generation because Israel became a nation then. I accepted it begrudgingly. But after nearly 40 years of, how, of hearing how Jesus is coming back any minute to save us, so just be a compliant taxpayer and always turn the other cheek to tyranny, it just didn't feel right. I don't believe we are in a little season yet, and the little season is going to be less than 40 years, according to Joshua 24-7. I think this is the big reason that they want us to believe it hasn't happened yet. It definitely keeps people subservient because Jesus will take care of it. A lot of boomers didn't even plan for retirement, thinking their generation would see Jesus coming back. Appreciate your channel, Shelly. Blessings. So thank you so much, Smite the Wicked, for this comment. And yeah, I decided that I was, of course, going to go see what Joshua 24, 7 is. Because when I saw that it says that Joshua 24, 7 says the little season is going to be less than 40 years, of course, my ears perked up. So first of all, let's read what Revelation 20 says. And I have gone over Revelation 20 so many times on my channel that I'm only going to do Revelation 20 verse 3. Revelation 20 verse 3 says, And cast him into the bottomless pit, and shut him up, and set a seal upon him, that he should deceive the nations no more, till the thousand years should be fulfilled, and after that he must be loosed a little season. So this idea of a little season has really um, inspired so many different ideas of what it could possibly be. And a very popular idea right now, at least in the Christian truth or community, is that we are in this little season now, and there are some people who believe that it happened in 1776. There are some people who believe that the little season began in the 1800s. So there are different times that people believe this little season started, but they think that we're still in it now and that it is hundreds of years long. And a very, an, another common th thought, at least when it comes to this particular uh, idea, is that since there are four seasons in a year, they're taking the, the 1,000 years that is mentioned elsewhere in Revelation 20, literally, and then they're taking a little season, they're dividing that 1,000 by four, and they are saying, okay, so the little season is going to be 250 years, because that's one-fourth of a 1,000 years, and there are four seasons in a year. So before I even get onto the other verse, and I pointed this out in, other, in another video, it's actually a problem to, to use that equation for this, because if you look at the other translations, season is not used very often. And if you actually go to the Greek and see if, if season is used there, it's, it's not. Um, so I'm going to show you that. It, it, it says chronon. That's what it is. And it actually means period of time. So it means a brief, meaning little or small, period of time. So the word season is not even in the original Greek. So to use the, the word season and to calculate how long it is because of that one word, it, it just, it, it doesn't fit. 
So now though, let's move on to Joshua 24 seven that the commenter spoke about. I'm also going to use the King James version for this one as well, because if you take notice, just as with Revelation 20 verse three, the King James version is the only one that actually used the word season. So I'm going to, to read from the King James for this one as well. And this is Joshua 24 seven and it says, and when they cried unto the Lord, he put darkness between you and the Egyptians and brought the sea upon them and covered them. And your eyes have seen what I have done in Egypt. And ye dwelt in the wilderness a long season. How long were the Israelites in the wilderness? They were there for 40 years. So if we're going to use scripture to interpret scripture, according to Joshua 24, seven, a long season is 24, I'm sorry, is 40 years. So if a long season, according to Joshua 24, seven is 40 years, how could a little season or a short season be hundreds of years long? If we are using the biblical hermeneutic of scripture, interpreting scripture, that does not add up. Another place where you see this phrase used is in Luke 23, verse eight. And once again, we're going to use the King James because that is where the word season is used here too. So let's see what King James says in Luke 23, verse eight. And when Herod saw Jesus, he was exceeding glad, for he was desirous to see him of a long season, because he had heard many things of him, and he hoped to have seen some miracle done by him. So Herod was hoping to see Jesus for a long season, because he had heard many things of him. So at this point in time, Jesus and his human form was was not hundreds of years long thousands of years long if it's a long season if people think that a little season is hundreds of years long how long would a long season be to them but here it's talking about how herod had heard about the things that jesus did and was hoping to see him for a long season so again we're not talking about hundreds of years here when it comes to joshua 24 7 a long season is 40 years and if we're talking about Luke 23, 8, it's clearly less than 40 years. That's referring to a long season. So again, if we're using biblical hermeneutics, how then could a little season be hundreds of years long? In my opinion, it can't be. That's all that I have for you today. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed and would like to hear more of what I have to say, I would love if you would do that. If you have any questions or comments, you can leave one down below. And if you like my work and would like to check out my YouTube membership, I will leave a link in the description for that as well, or you can click on it right on my channel page. And I hope you have a great day.